Okay, so if if yours isn't loaded up, just follow along. Um, we are looking at creating the text with the MASH plugin so that we can animate really quickly. So right here where you have the MASH um, tab on your tool shelf, we're going to go ahead and hit this text button here, polygon type, and it's going to uh, pop up with some default 3D type, okay? And over here in the attributes editor, with this selected, we can change this. So, I'm going to put in Mr. Lee's 3D modeling, and I hit center alignment. You can tweak a lot about this, including the font, by scrolling through these, picking one that you like. Um, it should update. You can also hold your scroll wheel there and roll over with your mouse to pick a lot of fonts quickly to kind of preview them all. Hey, that one was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so you'll need to find one you like. So I'm going to let you guys do that, but be aware the next step is going to still be in this attribute editor. It's going to be under the animation tab here. Okay, you're editing under the text tab right now. Okay, this is in a window. You can pull it out. So, um, we have our text. Okay, if you need to edit your text in the future over in your attribute editor, it's, it's going to be under the type tab. Now, you may have to scroll through a couple tabs to find it. There's quite a few. Okay, so once you're set up with this, um, I'm going to go to animation, this tab here, and I'm going to hit animate, okay? And with my time set at the first frame in my time timeline, I'm going to go ahead and hit set keys. This sets the keyframe that makes sure that my text is in this position at this time. Okay, so if I scoot on down to the end of my animation timeline and I've entered something in one of these fields, especially on the rotate fields, maybe something like 360, and maybe I'll do it for a couple of these axes because I'm feeling adventurous, and I uh, hit enter. Sometimes it doesn't work unless you hit enter on that field. I think it's a little bug. And you hit set keys. What's going to happen so it's going to animate my text transforming across these two axes in 360 degrees. So it doesn't look like it finished the animation. I need a few more frames. Okay. So I'm going to hit play. Yeah. Are you cut up? Okay. Um... Yes, so I have a full rotation upon the X and Y axis on my text. And now I did it in character mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and bump this down to zero to more clearly demonstrate this, hopefully. Um, no, that didn't work. Okay, well, um, this does this on a per letter basis, okay? I could flip this to Word, and it would do it on a Word level basis. So I'm doing it now, and it rotates the words as a whole, or you could even go to Line, where it's going to rotate the lines as a whole, keeping each line of text together. Okay, I like um, either how Word or Character looked on this one, but that's all up to you. And you could, you can have this other... Uh, other axes as well or scaling it's all up to you okay so go ahead and set that up um, get the animation playing for yourself and then we'll continue on to animating the camera next so every great YouTube intro needs to have a camera that changes angles right so we need to kind of have our camera you know do some do some fancy moves around our text or 3D object while we um, animate it. 
So one of the key concepts in animation is to keep every keep something moving all the time. If you ever watch claymation movies, they never have a moment where something isn't moving. That something might be the camera, or it might be the character, or um, like in your favorite video game, um, there are idle poses, right? So um, even when your your character is sitting there, um, they're fidgeting, right, with their weapons or something like that, right? That's because we need to keep movement for this sort of movie type of realism um, to be convincing. So the clouds are moving in this scene while your character is just staring off into space. Even if you're just staring off into space, sitting here not doing anything, your character is fidgeting with their weapon or inspecting it or breathing or something so that there's movement, right? So in ours, um, we're just going to add more movement. We already have uh, the text movement, but it is a concept that um, one of the one of the key things about making an animation look good is that it needs to have movement all the time. So um, that being said, we'll need to create a camera that's capable of kind of doing this thing, right? So we're going to go up here to create. And we're going to go to cameras, and we're going to go to camera and aim. Okay. So camera and aim is going to give us camera aims at a specific point. Now, this little teal dot here is that specific point, and this box back here is the camera. So, if I move this so that we can see the camera and the dot better, um, you'll see that I can move this camera, I'm going to move it left and right to show, and it keeps pointing at that dot. It's aimed at that dot no matter what, okay, no matter whether I move it up or down or left and right, back and forth. Um, it's going to keep aiming at that dot. Now that dot can be moved as well. Okay, so I'm going to move this dot to about what I think the center of my text is, forward and back, left and right, so that my camera is always aimed at approximately right there. And I think maybe that's more like it. So then I'm going to move my camera back in my scene. Okay. And we sort of have an issue here where we can't see through this camera that we're moving out. This is what we're going to render out, okay? But we need to be able to view through this camera. Yes. Okay, the camera is created under Create, Cameras, and I want the one with Camera and Aim, okay? That way it's trained on this 3D modeling. So if I want to look through this camera... There's a couple ways to do it, okay? I could select this camera and say panels, perspective, camera one, which this one happens to be camera one, so you can select it by name. Or you could say look through selected, okay? I'm just going to do that. And you can see I'm looking through that camera. Not at a very exciting scene. I'm just looking through it. So I'm just going to go back real quick to perspective okay um oh you know what i may have been looking through the aim that's pretty weird yeah i'm looking through my camera now okay uh but that that helps me out some but what would help me out more was if i had two views to do this so if i hit the space bar i pull up my four views and i can say over here in this top left panel i want to look through camera one in that panel okay and i can drop this middle bar so that i only have two up two viewports up. So why don't you guys get set up with this setup, get a camera and an aim, and then get yourself two viewports. One that's viewing through camera one, and one that's viewing through our standard perspective camera persp. Okay? Okay, so the last sort of step here to making this um, camera active is to key start keyframing it. Okay? So if you like this... Um, viewpoint that you've gotten your camera to, uh, like maybe I like sort of the idea of panning it like this, um, I might just kind of lower it down a little bit, we want some drama, I'm going to choose a, a point in time, and I have my camera selected, so I'm going to hit S on the keyboard to keyframe it, 
And then I'll pick another point in time. And I'm going to move my camera around a little bit. Whoops. I'm going to move the camera around. And I'm just going to keep moving it. And hit S. I'll pick another point in time. Move my my camera again. And hit S. Okay? So I've keyframed one, two, three different vantage points, viewing points for my camera. And if I press play, I'm, I might click in this in this viewport here, and just if I press play, I will move around my animation while it's animated. Okay, we're getting ready for epic YouTube intro type animation, right? So go ahead and, and keyframe your camera in a couple different places. We have about five minutes left in class, so mind your time and make sure you save your work on your U drive, okay?